Okay, I don't have audio. So far, we've only seen one police car uh, tailing this guy on the interstate, uh, Erica. He's heading back toward the south uh, with Snoopy and Pop Pursuit from up above. We've got the police helicopter from CMPD that's also trailing this guy. High speed, as you can see him passing cars uh, left and right here on the uh, three-lane, four-lane section of uh, I-77 on the southbound side. He's got somebody tailing him now from South Carolina law enforcement, it looks like. Okay, he's running into two trucks. He's going to have a problem right here. Passing on the right side there on the uh, entrance ramp. Uh, and law enforcement is making that move as well. I'm sorry, Blair. Uh, I didn't catch your last question. It is. Yeah, this is still York County. Uh, I believe we passed exit 77 uh, area. Uh, it's still heading south, heading down towards the Chester area now. WVTV on your side. WVTV News starts right now with breaking news. We're going to get you to that breaking news. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for First at Four. I'm Jamie Bull. I'm Brigitte Mack. Turning into a busy Thursday, we want to take you right live to Sky 3, where we are over the scene of a police pursuit that is underway. This is happening on I-77 southbound at Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, we are don't have a lot of details at this point. We do know that this started in Charlotte with Charlotte Mecklenburg Police, and then once it moved into South Carolina, that's where the Highway Patrol took over. We have been watching this right before we came on the air for several minutes. Minutes. And as you can see, as this vehicle, this sedan passes other vehicles, it is moving at a now high rate of speed. And this has been going on for several minutes. The call came in about 15 minutes ago. We put Sky 3 in the air to track this. But as Brigitte mentioned, apparently this started with some sort of situation here in Mecklenburg County. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police at least looking to stop this vehicle for some sort of infraction. We don't know what that is at this point. Again, it crossed the state line and now Highway Patrol in South Carolina is on the case, but obviously traffic very heavy as we uh, get closer and closer to the rush hour south of Charlotte into South Carolina, where this pursuit has again been going on for several minutes. And you can see here, folks, you've been watching for the last few moments with us, this driver not afraid to go onto the right shoulder mm -hmm. because I-77 at this point in South Carolina is just two lanes. So it is getting onto the right shoulder there uh, to pass cars. Right now, it seems to be staying in that right shoulder. And if you know this area, you have four lanes of traffic as you go through Fort Mill into the Rock Hill area as the vehicle now stops and the suspect gets out and you can see police are right there. The man running off into the woods right now, Highway Patrol giving chase. Again, we don't know what this suspect was wanted for, but he has now abandoned that vehicle and run off. We believe this has just crossed into Chester County. And the car still seems to be moving at a very slow rate he, of speed. I don't know if you park, can see he? that. Yeah. Uh, you can see a third law enforcement vehicle has stopped. Uh, so potentially that car still in drive and that highway patrolman or law enforcement official trying to get it stopped and it sort of runs up the embankment mm. there. Uh, but uh, we want to go live uh, to our Ron Lee, but we in are moment, waiting we will, on yeah. him to get some information. Yeah, he's in there working the phones. Mm -hmm. This is a breaking news situation. Just began to. From Sky 3, you can see right now we have counted at least a dozen officers on scene. So they have this area locked down. Uh, they did bring in the canine units. Uh, as you see, that is a bloodhound. And his job is to track down the suspect wherever he may be. Now, the problem we have here is twofold. Is this guy armed? What kind of a danger does he present? That's the first one. 
one. The second one is the time difference in all this, when he stopped the vehicle and when he ran out. The longer this drags out, the further he could get away or find himself some little bunker to hide out in. So that's going to become a serious factor along uh, with these officers. Now, you do see the uh, the canine unit walking back to the car right now. That may be an indication that the uh, the dog did lose the track, which is kind of surprising for a, a bloodhound because they are top of the top of the food chain, as it were, when it comes to scent dogs. Uh, but we're going to have to see. This also uh, may have ended differently. Uh, right now, we do not have any confirmation of that as of this point. However, we do have multiple crews out there on the scene fighting traffic, trying to get the latest information to you. We're going to keep working the phones right here. As I said, this is a team effort here at WBTV. We have every single person in the newsroom working on this story, trying to find out the very latest, and we will bring that to you as soon as we get it. All right, Ron, thank you. Uh, once again, folks, you are seeing videotape of the moment. Uh, just a few seconds ago, you saw the suspect jump out of that moving car and then law enforcement mm -hmm. officials take off into that tree line after him. You can see that silver car is still moving slowly, mm -hmm. but still moving. The suspect did not even put it into park as he uh, stopped on the right shoulder and then jumped out. These now live pictures on the uh, left side of your screen there. This could very well be the suspect in custody. Uh, he did have on a white shirt and he uh, presumably has his yep. hands behind his back. Right. We just got confirmation this is the suspect. Uh, he is now in police custody and you know just a few moments ago, Jamie, in those live right. pictures, we saw the canine the walking back. back. So either it meant that they were not, they lost the scent or they got him. And this is live video here, folks, of the suspect sitting in that police car, hands behind his back. Yeah, better of those scenarios there is that they got this guy. His car is stopped. Uh, apparently no officers hurt, no one else hurt. That is the good news. But you can see him there sitting there. Doesn't look like he has shoes on I, or anything, does it? I was just about to say, Jamie, is he barefoot? I tell you what, in running through the woods like that, that might have, would have made it difficult to get away. As we were watching Sky 3 earlier, too, uh, in the commercial break, because it was sort of panning around. There's obviously thick woods in this area. It looked like also some little bodies of water as well. Um, so obviously he was going to have a slow go if he was trying to get away barefooted through this area. Uh, and, but again, the good news here, it apparently had this chase suspect in custody. The breaking news that we've been following here since we went on the air mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock. And, and, and uh, this started about, what, 10 till 4? Yep. So inside of an hour, uh, this has been presumably resolved with that suspect in custody, uh, which is good news because this mm -hmm. could have very well ended differently. So the left side of your screen there, folks, live video feed of that suspect sitting in that law enforcement cruiser. And then on the right side of your screen, that is tape uh, mm -hmm. of that suspect's car still rolling, the stolen car, I should say, as he already took off into the tree line there. They are putting him there into the front seat, and uh, we'll see where he goes from here. Uh, if he faces charges initially in Chester County, in York mm -hmm. County, will they uh, bring him back into across the state line? That might take some court proceedings to do. We'll have to see how, mm -hmm. how that all uh, plays itself out. But out of all the scenarios that could have happened, first of all, you had a car going at a high rate of speed, some estimates over 90 miles per hour, weaving through traffic. That could have caused, obviously, some serious accidents on the highway for innocent folks. That, as best we can tell, did not happen. Mm -hmm. Then we had this vehicle pull off while it's still moving. Uh, it didn't go back into traffic. Thankfully, it went into the ditch where it came to arrest. No one hurt there. And then the chase began into the wooded area where, as best we, again, we can tell the suspect has been taken into custody with no one hurt. And again, this all started, uh, according to Charlotte Mecklenburg Police, as reports of a stolen vehicle. A CMPD officer spotted it, and actually Snoopy, mm -hmm. that CMPD's helicopter, was following this chase until it left Mecklenburg County. And that is, of course, when York County and the Highway Patrol uh, took, up, took up the pursuit. We don't see a lot of these in our area. It's other parts of the country. It becomes almost daily fog. Uh, for some of the local newscasts, Los Angeles comes to mind, but we don't uh, see these very often around here. And uh, we happen to be there today just as we are coming on the air and seeing it all the way through from pursuit to stop to chase again on foot to uh, an arrest. So apparently we can, uh, at least for the moment, button up this story. Yes, we will continue to follow it as we learn more. The suspect's name, mm -hmm. what sort of charges he will face, and where he will face them. Uh, right now, though, let's get another check on your forecast with meteorologists.